now let's move on to topic first on page 116 and 117 now we have been studying about non contact force what is non contact force this force exists between two body without being contact direct contact between the two body will not be there for example when you bring two magnet together from far distance only they attract so they are not being in contact such a force is called non contact force and the electrostatic force you know what is electrostatic force the force which exists between two charged particles plus charged particle minus charged particle attract each other this force is called electrostatic force which is non contact force now we move on to activity 3 is to observe whether different surface have different friction frictional force is a example of contact force which oppose motion which exists in opposite direction of motion when you throw the ball or when you roll the ball on the floor what will happen after a few seconds it automatically stops what made to stops it is because of friction friction exists to play between two surface here between floor and the ball surface due to friction that ball stops now in activity 3 we required heavy box now you are going to keep a heavy box on rough surface and you are going to push it and also now you are going to take the same box and putting on the rough surface now you are going to push that box on which surface the box moved easily without any effort it's definitely on the smooth surface because on the smooth surface there exists less friction than the rough surface so what do you understand It's different surface have different magnitude of friction friction always exists to play more on the rough surface then what all things friction can do if you rub both the hands what happen it produces heat it is because of friction so friction produce heat friction causes heat friction causes wear and tear of shoes why do you slip in clay soil during rain because of less friction between the clay soil surface and our feet thus because of less friction we slip do you know we walk with the help of friction when we walk between two surface our foot surface and the surface of the floor there exists frictional force which help us to walk without slipping how do we write this also because of friction there exists friction between the tip of the pen and the paper between these two surfaces the frictional force exists to play that is what we could write how will you increase the friction between two surface you have to make a rough surface if it is more roughness there exists more friction how will you reduce the friction apply oil or grease on the surface so there produce less friction there is this less friction is used in running machines this less friction is used that is the reason we could apply oil or grease or lubricant in machines for running machines we require less friction so there will be smooth functioning of machine if there exist more friction in the machine it will not run properly and causes damage on wastage of this electricity and fuels etc next comes gravitational force what is gravitational force it exists to play between two bodies here we can say one example all the fruits from the trees falls down because of gravitational force of the earth the force with which the earth attract all the object towards itself is called gravitational force or force of gravity fruits from the tree falls down because of gravitational pull by the earth this force is called gravitational force when you throw a ball upwards what will happen the speed decreases because of the pullness of the earth the earth pull towards its center so the speed decreases when you throw ball upwards such force of gravity depends on two factors that is mass and distance this force is directly proportional to mass of the bodies and also inversely proportional to distance more the mass more the force more the distance less the force 
Mass and weight are two different terms. Mass of a body remains constant if you go to space or if you go to moon. But weight of the body changes if you go to other planet or other moon or space. Because weight of the body depends upon the gravitational pull of the other body. If you go to moon, your weight lessened by six times because that pull of the moon is lesser than, six times lesser than the earth. Suppose your weight is 60 kg. When you go to moon, your weight will be 10 kg. It is reduced by six fold, six times. So what do you understand? Weight and mass are extremely opposite terms. Most of the place we use weight plays mass also. In chemistry also we use weight plays mass. But actually these both are different terms. How will you measure the temperature of, of our body using thermometer? In the same manner, weight of the body is measured by spring balance. So you know what is the unit of mass and weight? The unit of mass is kilograms, whereas Unit of weight is newtons or kilogram force or kilogram weight.